the deep healing power within you, the one who made you, is spiritual healing, and it does exist. Indulge in a profound healing as you embrace these universal truths and engage with this power, which manifests as completeness, beauty, and perfection. Forgive everyone, including yourself. Healing will elude us if we choose to ignore or downplay the problem. What we see here is the result of human stupidity, superstition, and terror, namely the false notion that the cosmos wants him to suffer. Recognize that being healthy, joyful, joyous, and free is completely normal and natural. A refuge of the living cosmos, your body is a conduit for the universe, and you must realize this. Staying sick with ill will, bitterness, self-condemnation, hatred, and resentment will not help you recover. If an alcoholic keeps believing the negative things about himself and giving in to self-criticism, guilt, and disgust, he will never recover. Because love is the expression of inner harmony, he needs to let rid of these bad sentiments and cultivate kindness for everyone. Love, peace, and friendliness should emanate from him, and he should want the same for other people as he wants for himself. When thinking about the offender no longer causes him pain, but rather an overwhelming sense of calm and kindness, he will have forgiven them. There is a healing force within you, and when you tap into it, incredible things can happen in your life. When people follow this idea, they find inner calm and witness miraculous things happen. Such people value peace, are unaffected by wrongdoing, and meet no evil along their way because they keep their eyes fixed on this truth that heals. You always have the divine essence with you. Now, you and I can see that the miracle healing force is focused on the exact spot in your mind where the problem is, dismantling barriers so that the healing energies of the cosmos can fill you full. Unveiling or expressing vision is more your fort than just creating it. It is via the eye that we view the world. Light waves emitted by celestial objects reach Earth's surface via the cornea and are subsequently carried by the optic nerve to the brain. The act of seeing takes place when the inner light or intellect deciphers the light from the outside world. Your right eye is a symbol of your devotion to the divine, your admiration for the cosmos and its workings, and your desire to know its secrets. Accurate thought and deed are also represented by it. On the other hand, the wisdom and love of the cosmos are reflected in your left eye. Your viewpoint is totally in sync with the truth because you encourage right thinking and are kind to everyone. As soon as he said, receive thy sight, his vision returned, and he continued on his way, singing praises to the cosmos. As I've already indicated, many people are spiritually and mentally blind since they don't realize that their thoughts create their world. When one's mind and spirit are clouded by animosity and jealously, they are spiritually and psychologically blind. Their health is deteriorating over time due to the poisonous thoughts they are secreting, which they are blissfully unaware of. This is the core of their sickness. This is the pain they're experiencing. Discord and imbalance are the root causes of disease. The root of all disease is malicious intent. So many people keep saying that there's no way out of their troubles and that their circumstances are hopeless. They bemoan the fact that the cosmos is unable to cure them while simultaneously asserting that the universe has the power to accomplish anything. Ironically, they contradict themselves by claiming that all blessings originate from the universe. Spiritual blindness is a common cause of a specific attitude. When people realize that their subconscious contains all the knowledge and intellect they need to solve any problem, and when they have a new perspective on their mental capacity, they begin to experience spiritual and mental clarity. The ever-changing relationship between our conscious and subconscious minds is something that everyone must comprehend. Achieving health, wealth, happiness, and peace of mind through the right usage of mental laws and spiritual activities becomes apparent to those who previously were oblivious of these principles upon careful reflection. When you say to yourself, 
The universe within me is healing me now. You tap into your inner healing power and open the door to incredible life changes. It is impossible for a psychologist, psychiatrist, religious scientist, or medical specialist to cure a patient entirely on their own. To make room for the universe's healing forces, psychologists and psychiatrists focus on removing mental blocks while surgeons deal with physical ones. The healing life energy resides within every one of us, but there are mental, emotional, and physical obstacles that might get in the way. When properly channeled, the restorative power of your subconscious mind may cure any illness, mental or physical. There is just one way to get well, and it's all based on the same universal healing principle. All things have an inherent vitality, and the cosmos is a living definition of life. All living things, from plants to minerals, experience this vital energy through their innate instincts and the principles of growth. Despite the abundance of resources devoted to tapping into the power of the universe, faith is the one and only means of recovery. As it is imparted to you, your religion shapes your experiences. All the world's faiths are just different ways of believing in the same God with different details and interpretations. Belief is the ultimate and most basic rule of existence. Your beliefs determine your reality, so be careful with what you hold dear about yourself, life, and the cosmos. A belief is a mental concept that affects how your subconscious mind distributes its power in every area of your life. The results will be consistent with your beliefs, regardless of how well-founded or inaccurate they may be. Like the practice of scientific prayer, it is considerably more useful to know why you do things than to just do them without thinking. Recognize that the Bible stresses the efficacy of faith alone, not just conformity to external structures, protocols, or formulas. Your beliefs are nothing more than your ideas. To those who have faith, everything is possible. When you engage in spiritual therapy or treatment, you are re-establishing a connection to the cosmos that already exists inside you and bringing to mind its limitless power, beauty, harmony, wholeness, and tranquility. Know that you are loved and cared for by the cosmos. Praying in this manner can assist in the gradual dissolution of your concerns. Avoid picturing a sick heart when you pray for a cardiac issue. This goes against spiritual thinking. Things come to pass when ideas become actuality. Your bodily cells, tissues, nerves, and organs are molded by the spiritual conversation you engage in. Paying more attention to cardiac problems or hypertension will make them worse. Instead of dwelling on physical symptoms or portions of your body, focus on the love that exists in the cosmos. The idea that there is one healing power and energy that is unrivaled by everything else in the cosmos should be understood and embraced. Embrace the infinite healing presence's uplifting, healing, and strengthening energy as it gently and lovingly restores you from the inside out. Strength, tranquility, vigor, holiness, and right action are manifestations of the cosmic harmony, beauty, and love. Become aware of and at one with these. When you completely absorb this knowledge, the love of the cosmos will heal any sick organ, including a broken heart. Right now, the universe within you is working to heal you. Respect the cosmos within you right now and forever.